Alright, much brew about nothing time. Playing some super budget mono red storm in Legacy. And yeah, I mean we'll play first and we got lots of mana. We got a couple card draw spells. Alright, I guess we keep this. We have a helm for two. Yeah, I think this looks fine. So let's just play a mountain, pass the turn. We could try to go for it on turn three, possibly. We'll see what our opponent's playing. Ugh. This might be a Taxes deck, which could be pretty annoying. Ooh. I like Hazaret's Undying Fury. Well, let's play Helm of Awakening. And pass the turn. So I think we go for it next turn if our opponent doesn't have a Thalia or something. Thalia is going to make it a lot harder. All right, Mirror and Crusader. All right, I think we're just going to go. We're going to go. We're going to go and hope it works. We do have Hezzeret's and Dying Fury. We got the mana to cast it. We have a bunch of card draw. All right, well, Mono Reds. Oh, another Hezzeret's and Dying Fury? Uh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I think, I think we do it. I think we do it. So let's probe. Our opponent shouldn't have anything to mess with us. Wasteland, Revoker, Recruiter, Avenger. Hmm. Does this change our plans? Next turn, they could, like, Revoker Lotus Petal, and that costs us a ton of mana. That's probably the best thing they could do, and they probably don't even know about that. Let's see what we draw. Keep track of the hand. Yeah, let's see what we draw into. Right of Flame. So that adds some free mana. I mean, I assume if we have Hazards on Dying Fury, we just go for it? Mana Morphos makes us a mana. Petal, Petal, Right of Flames. I mean, we could keep waiting. We've cast one spell. So two mana. We'll hit a land along the way. Three, four, five, six. So we have... Oh, boy. The problem is we could just whiff on Hazaret's Undying Fury. And we're, we're going. You don't play Mono Red Storm to not try to kill people quickly. So add red. Probe. Same cards. Ooh, Ancient Tomb is nice. That is very nice. Play Lotus Petal. Play Lotus Petal. Play Right of Flame. Play Ancient Tomb. Oh, come on, Hazard Sun Dying Fury. I think that works. So cast Seething Song. Cast Burning Wish. Burning Wish. Do we just go empty? We probably just empty. Well, we're going to have, what, five mana? Six, seven, eight mana? This is five, empties three. We can Hazard Sun Dying Fury again. I don't know if we can Grape Shot. Yeah, we'll take empty. Five mana. Hazard's and Dying Fury. Ooh, that was a good hit. Lotus Petal double act on Impulse. Oh, maybe we could have Grape Shotted. Well, we could hit another Burning Wish. All right. Ooh, those were some hits. Those were some hits. And we get a Lotus Petal. Probe. Draw a card. Helm of Awakening, Ruby Medallion for free. Seething Song for one mana. Act on Impulse for one mana. Oh, goodness. Seething Song. Well, I think we empty. <laughs> we get to make 40 goblins and we still get to reforge the soul. So if we hit... So we can still win by Grape Shot. This is turn three! Holy. So we're getting... 40 goblins, and our opponent scoops it up! <laughs> well, uh, yeah, that is, that is what we're trying to do. I mean, that's, that's exactly it. Wow! Uh, and when we went for it, we were not guaranteed that we would get it either, but wow! Alright, so, big concern here is our opponent having a Thalia? Thalia is the one card that really messes with us, which makes me wonder if we want to bring in a Braids, but I have no idea how we would sideboard them in this matchup. A Braid killing Thalia seems fairly important, because comboing off through Thalia seems uh, miserable. What do we go down? We can go down to maybe the Gamble? One of something. I guess one spirit guide. Let's try it like that. I think that's about as good as it's going to get. Wow, that was a pretty impressive performance. I mean, non-force of will matchups and our opponent not drawing Thalia definitely helps. Oh, this is so close. I think we're going to keep it. 
we have a lot of what we want. We only have one real mana. We don't really want to ritual out a... Hmm. Well, play the mountain, pass the turn. <sighs> yeah, I don't really want to ritual out a ruby medallion. We'd like to just cast it naturally. Cavern! Does our opponent have Thalia? Thalia makes us sad. Canonist also makes us sad. Land would be awesome here. Well, play Lotus Petal. And I guess we just keep waiting for now. We do need an abrade for that before we die. Another land for our opponent. And... Uh -huh. Is it something that disrupts us? Oh, goodness. Oh, boy. Opponent's got to hate this matchup. Sets it on one. Oh, man. Come on, land. Land, land, land. Metamorphose. Man, I hate doing this, but I think we have to... Play Ruby Medallion. Play Lotus Petal. Pass the turn. So what we got to set up now is Burning Impulse, or Burning Wish, <laughs> for the cave-in in our sideboard to kill these creatures, and then go from there to winning. Unfortunately, we got to do that across two turns, unless we just draw into an Abrade. So things are definitely pretty sketchy now. Our Act on Impulses don't do anything. There's a Flicker Wisp. Gonna blink a land. Yep. Ancient Tomb's helpful. Well, play Ancient Tomb. Burning Wish. Take the Cave-In. Play Ruby Medallion. Pass the turn. So if our opponent has another Flicker Wisp, then we're dead. Because they can reset the Sanctum Prelate. If they don't, then we're kind of probably okay. Opponent hits us. Down to five. And passes. All right. I'm still not sure we can just win from here. The question is, do we exile cards or sack our Lotus Petal? I guess we exile. Yeah, I think we have to. So exile the Rite of Flame. Can we go for it from here? We might have to try. Let's act on Impulse. Oh, boy. Cast Lotus Petal. Sack Lotus Petal, Manamorphose, not looking too good, add red mana, we draw Mountain, now let's act on Impulse, we need good hits here, Right of Flame, Burning Wish, hmm, so we can, one, two, th one, two, uh, I'd like to reforge the soul, but I don't think we can, Past in Flames costs two, so we could go to one and Past in Flames? One, two, three, and then we can Ritual Manamorphose and try to run it back. We're still going to have to run well for that to work, though. We can Flashback Rite of Flames, Double Act on Impulse, Manamorphosis. The other option is just to make Goblins and hope that that's enough. Oh boy, this is actually really close. The question is, are the goblins enough to win us the game? We'd be at three life. We'd make a bunch of goblins. We lose to Flicker Wisp. We don't have lethal next turn. We'd make 14. The other problem is we just don't have that much mana for our graveyard if we go with Past in Flames. You know what? I think we go for it. Take Past in Flames. Play Ancient Tomb. Past in Flames. And now we start flashing stuff back. So first off, we Manamorphose. Add red. Draw more medallions. I don't know if that's helpful. So one mana act on impulse is a complete whiff. Now we need to Rite of Flames. Act on impulse. Ooh, there's Rite of Flames. Cast Rite of Flames. Cast Rite of Flames. Hazareth's Undying Fury is five, four. We'd have one mana left over. Hmm. We can't do this stuff. All right, so let's cast Past in Flames. Cast Rite of Flames. Cast Rite of Flames. Up to six mana. Ah. Uh, all right. Hazareth's Undying Fury. Two mana left. We need hits. We need hits. What? Oh, my goodness. I don't know what happened. Apparently I clicked something wrong. Oh, we had the win too. Alright. 
Well, that's unfortunate. We had it. We hit Reforge of So. Oh, oh. I don't understand. I don't understand. Well, we we. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't even see the cards. It just said that we chose not to cast them, and that's how the game ends. Unfortunately, opponent passes. Well, that's a shame. Play the mountain. Pass the turn. Oh, I'm so depressed. I don't understand. I mean, I guess we had all those cards floating, and maybe they were underneath them or something, but I didn't even see the pile of cards to pop up for us to cast. But it said in the, in the chat that we hit cards that would have won us the game. There's Mirren Crusader. Well, this is probably the game. Our opponent can tap down our one red source, and I don't think we can pull off the win from here. Oh man, that's ridiculous. Oh, Moto. Oh, I feel like we played so well up to that point. Oh my goodness. Opponent taps one of our lands. Yep. Uh, yeah. I mean, if there's ever anything that's going to change this, it's probably Reforge the Soul. We are going to have to get pretty lucky though. All right, new hand. Hopefully it's a good one. And it's not good enough. We can't probe. We can't ancient tomb. And that does it. Oh, Moto. Moto. Oh, and now we're probably going to lose the match because of that. We played so well. Our opponent had all the hate cards and we did everything right. And we didn't win because of that. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, I'm going to have to go back and watch the video and see what happened. We cast the card. I went to click OK to cast the cards, and all of a sudden, it wouldn't let us cast anything. It just said, oh, you chose not to cast anything. So apparently I did something wrong. Oh, that's sad. Oh, man, that was beautiful, too. We're, we're, we were guaranteed to win there, but it would be very unlikely that we wouldn't win there with seven new cards from the position we were at, so... The old no red mana hand. Well, phew, we're going to keep this because if we draw a mountain, I think we just win. Like, if we draw a mountain next turn, it's very likely we win. Helm of Awakening, pass the turn. Unfortunately, this makes our opponent's cards cost less as well. So there's a chance that they can just play like a Thalia. It's a rest in peace. So that stops past in flames. Oh, come on, mountain. Come on, mountain off the top. Mountain off the top. Second Past in Flames is the deadest of dead cards. That's very bad news. Oh, boy. I'm so sad. Opponent has Cavern. And probably something to disrupt us. There's the Sanctum Prelate. Chooses one. Well, Mountain could still win us the game, potentially. There's a Mountain. Well, I think we gotta go for it. Manamorphos. Add Red. That's a good draw. Mana Morphos, add red. And Hazaret's Undying Fury. Medallion, Medallion. Yeah, and I guess we reforge the soul. We're going to need Lotus Petals to keep going. Ugh. We lost all of our card draw. All right, pass the turn. Now we got a bit of a wait. Oh, I'm just sad because we should have won the game, too. I'm going to stop saying that, though. Opponent also has a full hand. There's a Thalia, which is annoying, but not that annoying because we have so many cost reduction effects. So our stuff is super cheap. Our opponent's probably tutoring up another disruptive piece. Gets the Canonist. Gets in for two. Yep. Down to 14. Opponent passes. Card draw, please. Another mountain. Six. We take five. Let's just play the mountain and pass. Oh, I'm so sad. No, I'm going to stop saying that. I said I'd stop saying that. All right, opponent. Get to planes. There's the canonist. That makes our life significantly harder. So we need, like, burning wish for cave-in, I think, very shortly here. We could also draw on a braid and try to go from there. Opponent hits us down to nine. So I think we have to do it like this turn, actually. Oh, man. Yep, down to nine. Opponent. 
Also has a revoker. Oh man, they just got it all. And now I don't even know if that saves us. Oh yeah, we're just dead? We draw. Mana Morvos doesn't do anything, and that be the game. Well, ah, uh, goes down on a loss in the record books, but if we were playing in paper, we would have won in two games, so. Yeah, what can you do? What can you do? I guess lesson is be very careful if you cast Hazorettes on Dying Fury with a bunch of cards in the Exile Zone because uh, it's easy to lose the game instead of win. Thanks for watching the video. If you haven't already, take a minute and click that subscribe button. It's a great way to support the channel for free, and you'll find the next video in the playlist right here.